Good evening fellow Groove Riders, Will from Wheels Electrical Services, welcome back to another episode. In tonight's episode what I want to do is I want to give you a quick tour of my Mega DCM 305E Earth Leakage Meter. Before I start the show, if you could do us a massive favour, if you could like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I completely and utterly hate doing that, but I, it helps the channel grow. Right, what it is, is uh, I'll show you a quick basic parts of it first. Obviously it comes in this little pouch. It's, uh, you turn the button on, one of the nice functions I like about it, it tells you the percentage of the battery. That's quite important for one of the other functions which I'll tell in a minute. One of the other nice things I really like about it is that it's got an auto backlit function. Function. I'll do a little video on the top just to show you. So when you're underneath the stairs it automatically comes on which is, is brilliant. It's my, the plastic's very similar to all the other uh, meters they have, you know, like the MFT, you know, it's quite robust. Obviously, it's over 200 quid, so I'm not going to try and bounce it around anywhere or anything silly like that. Uh, it's got the uh, button there so that opens the jaws. Apparently, it opens to, you know, the size of it is about 50, 50, uh, 50 mil, something like that. You can actually fit easily fit three phase and neutral double insulated tails through there. So, you know, obviously, single phase tails is, uh, sorry. Uh, single phase double insulated tails, absolute no drama whatsoever. What I use it for, and which is, is really good, is when I do insulation condition reports, if I'm uh, if one of the first tests we do is we always do it around the tails when all the circuits are energised, and it gives you a global reading of uh, the amount of milliamps that is flowing through the, uh, the actual uh, installation. And uh, Joe from eFix has done an absolutely awesome presentation on this. I'll attach it from the bottom. There's a few others. There's also GSH have, have done one. That's what's encouraged me to buy this because then when I went to Alexpec, I met Lee from Mega uh, when they were doing, uh, was, was it Alexpec? No, that's a company I used to do some work for. No, uh, the Alex show. Uh, that I met him and it, he gave me a quick demonstration. It's absolutely brilliant. It's got an actual few other functions which I didn't really know it's got. One of the good things that it does do as well is with the milliamps, is I'll quickly show you, is that because it gives you a, a reading, it, you can see whether you can change it. And it's quite good of, a good way of de determining what type of boards you can replace it for. I know there's a lot of people who don't like a, a split load consumer units and all that, but you know, for they're very cost effective, and especially on rental properties, where we have to be competitive with other people, you know, we find it the cheaper option. And obviously if we've measured it and all that, I'm more than comfortable to do that. Obviously some places like HMOs, um, really big houses, stuff like that, where you know it will wipe out a lot of circuits and we, we certainly won't do it, but I have no problem with it. And as I say, you know, on even if you just want, you know, like as you do get some customers who just want the consumer it change and all that, and as long as the bonding's up to size, as long as the bonding's up to size, it hasn't got a borrowed neutral and stuff like that, then you could easily just use this, change the board, and there'd be no no problems. Obviously, in my quotation, I will always I will always mention about that, you know, if there's anything else found, you know, like not correct end to end readings and stuff like that, then that will obviously be additional costs. I know it's not very cricket, but it's the real world we live in, isn't it? You know what I mean? Other people will just change it and wouldn't give a monkeys. Half of them don't even give them certs, do they? But yeah, that's enough of feature. Enough of feature, what it's got is obviously it's just a normal standard clamp meter. So if you just put it on line conductor, it just read that. And also, what one of the other impressive things that it has got, which I'm not really used to be honest, but I did have a problem the other week, is that it's got a peak, it's got an auto peak. It's got an auto hold peak function. So obviously if you've got like a economy seven, like I had a customer I had a Comney seven and they were complaining that they didn't think the immersion was coming on. And I was like, well, the only way I could really prove that is, is, you know, I changed the switch view spur to a plug top with a, uh, with a actual, um, plug top tester on there, you know? So obviously as soon as it come on, it would, it, it would alarm because, you know, they, they, you know, oddly enough, they were switching it on and off as well, and it's just, it was such a thing. But what I could have done is just put that on the uh, off-peak tails, 
and left it on because there is a couple of things you do have to do is see where it's got ol there you know you, you do have to have that on the tails before you actually turn it on uh, sorry have that on the live conductor before you turn it on and also you do have to turn off the the auto power off button and as long as you've got as i said about the hundred percent on the battery as long as that's on that you should have 48 hours which is explained in another video by lee who i was who i was chatting about earlier who hosts the video where they explain that that which is an unbelievable demonstration and that is a really handy bit of kit and as i say this is an absolute game changer for me because Obviously, I've been doing it like I, I trained up on the 16th edition where RCDs were just coming in, and then it went from 17th where you needed full RCD protection, you know. And without this, you know, without this meter and that earth leakage, you're never going to find it, you know, because insulation resistance aren't going to pick up on it. And it's like, as Joe mentions on his uh, eFix presentation as well, is that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of appliances that are introduced in this, to, you know, to protect their actual components and stuff like that which I, I was kind of aware of because uh, E5 they've got a uh, that they uh, they shared a really graphics where it's got all like the maximum uh, limits I will put it on the screen and obviously I will put a link to their channels as well but yeah it's just a quick little video it was kind of a layman's sort of tour of it you know and if you're gonna be anything then be electric up the old village you know thanks for watching see you again